Okay, so I'm going to look at the and other story new in items to see if they have anything that's really worth dealing with for like a corporate job, anything like that. Uh, let's see what they have. Let's do blouses and shirts. Okay. Mm. Well, off the shoulder is never something you wear in a uh, corporate world. Uh, V-neck lace. That's, I would stay away from that if I was, you know, looking for actual pieces I could wear to work. Now these button fronts, we're getting to something you could wear. I wouldn't wear these because they, um, the fabric looks like it is not what you would want to wear. It looks like it would be, look like it would be wrinkly and uh, more casual wear if you uh, are really trying to look sharp in your corporate world. And that's probably not the way you want to go. Um, let's see. Mm, cute. These are very cute for everyday wear, but if we're looking for something to wear to work, we're not hitting it yet. Okay, here we go. That's adorable. I'm looking at this white t-shirt or short-sleeved collarless with little appliques. That's adorable. I could see that with some trousers for 99 depending on your budget for it. That's not bad. Ooh, I want to look at it in blue. I like it in blue. I might like it in blue more than I like it in white. I like that. Okay, so let's go look at more things. Let's see. Now, this one over here with the busy pattern is not a, like, real no, depending on your body type and if your frame can handle a busy pattern. Mine, I'm kind of, I don't really like myself in that busy of a pattern, but I do like bold colors. So depending on the right person, this is not a total no. I like it. It's a little boxy. I would, you know, tuck it in to create some kind of shape to make it look less sloppy if you're going to wear it to work. Oh, error. If you weren't, this is a great little look. Uh -huh. Wish my internet was faster. Okay, those look like they are meant to tie and they're not really like button fronts. They are meant to be tied in the front at all times. Not what we're looking for right now. Now this green linen, I like it. I like a bold color. Bold button front, can't go wrong with button fronts. I like it. It says it's oversized, but you can always go a size smaller than your normal size. Try to get it more of a natural fitted size for you. I want to look at it. Apparently I'm drawn to blue today. I don't know what this is. But I like that. I like that a lot. 109 for a linen shirt. That's not bad. That is not bad for a linen shirt. Now, linen is, like when I said before, it is one that never looks that pristine. You can steam it, but as soon as you start doing something, it'll get all creasy. Um, you just got to know that about it. It's never going to be pristine all day. And that's that's... You could go for that look, or if you don't want it, you can't expect the fabric to do what it's not meant to do. Mm 
<laughs> I like this lace applique shirt here. That's really pretty. Okay, I know what they're showing off, but that's just really up in the model's business. I know they're trying to show off the, the sleeves and the very decorativeness of it, but and the buttons. But I really like this. I mean, it's not for work. I guess you could kind of finagle it for work if you put... Oh... Well, you would never be able to take your blazer off if you put your blazer on it, but you'd hide the sleeves if you put a blazer on over it. So I guess this would not be a good work shirt because you could not show that kind of back. That's a bummer. That's a big old bummer. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, we have another, oh, that's, we're back to, I think, the one we were looking at before, in the white applique. Um, this one with a peplum. Mm, not, not good for work. Uh, okay, this one with the, uh, I cannot remember what kind of, with the fabric with, looks like a doily on your back. I can't remember. It's an applique of some sort. Um, that wouldn't be good. That's too much skin. You can't go wrong with a button front. I love a button down. <laughs> oh, now this little with the little collar and the Light puff sleeves, short sleeve. That's so cute. Wear a shirt under it. Make sure it's still appropriate. But that is so cute. I wouldn't wear it with shorts. I'd wear it with some trousers tucked in. Maybe with a blazer over it or a sweater over it. But yeah, that's something I would look at. Oh, what's the price point on that? $79. Organic cotton. That's not bad for cotton. Let's look at the rest of their shots on it. Well, their buttons aren't bad. You know, sometimes with And Other Story, they they let me down sometimes with their fabrics and how it's made. But that one looks like it's a pretty well-made shirt. What are we doing? Oh, there it is in white. That's nice. Now, I do like this button front with the nipped in waist. I like that. I think I would make that work for a workplace, especially in a neutral color. That's. I like that a lot. Let's see if we got other shots. Now, I would not do the untucked monochrome look on that, but that's not how I would style it. But I do like it. The hidden buttons, I like. The very... Oh, and they're French cuffs. Oh, do they come with those cufflinks? Or... That'd be so cool if they came with those cufflinks. See it in the other. I'm assuming they do because it's shown in every single picture, even the other colorway. That is a statement piece that I like. I like that a lot.
we're seeing a lot of button fronts. I'm not, I'm not down on that, but you know, I want to see a little bit more here. Let's look at this blouse. It looks like it may go off of one shoulder, which means it's a big old no-no, but no for what we're looking for. But her hair is in the way, so I can't tell. Let's, and they don't give me a better shot without her hair in the way. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's cute. The bow on the side, not in front. Do they have any colors? Nope, just the one, $99. I like it. Has a little bit of a, looks like it might be a little bit of puff sleeve, but it's, of course, the, um, the bow is what you're really looking at. I like that. You put it with a, with a pencil skirt. That would be cute. Why are we starting at the, top, at the top again? Come on. I don't want to see that shirt. That is not what I meant to do. I lost my place, guys. Here we go. Now, those big flower appliques are really big, but of course... That wouldn't be good for work, so we're not even going to pay attention to that, even though that is a big trend right now. Um, that's really cute on some people. I have to say, really cute on some people. Um, blouses may be a little bit too voluminous in the sleeves for some people. Uh, if you have that kind of personality or that kind of presence to pull that off, that that shirt wouldn't overwhelm you. It's very easily overwhelming on a lot of people. I would say be careful about with shirts like this. Um, I just remembered I have to actually show you which shirt I'm talking about. This one right here. Because the camera is not in my eyes. You just see the whole page. So everything about this shirt, I would say it's a gamble. Um, if you really like it, order it, but make sure that you can return it if you don't like it, because there's a lot going on, seeing that the print on it is very busy, and then you have the sleeves that are very overwhelming, so it tends to take over everything about a look, and not just go with the look, it'd be the only thing somebody sees. And that's really not what you want when you're getting dressed for work or getting dressed in general, like going out. Um, it's always nice to have a focal piece, but this is a slap you in the face piece. <laughs> this is uh, you can't miss me. But some people look great in this. I tend to get overwhelmed by shirts like this. And if you want to see that, I think I got a couple in my closet. I can probably do a TikTok and try on and show you how the piece it wears me. I do not wear it. <laughs> uh, this satin shirt with the bell sleeves. Um, yeah, I get you could wear that to work. I could, I could totally put an outfit around that but you gonna show me the oh uh, with that string with those strings hanging down I'm afraid that it might be a corset back and then there that has no place in your workplace um, I and this might be a me thing but I am not for really anything that's a lace-up that doesn't have to do with your shoes <laughs> laces should really only go on your shoes it in the workplace for your attire in the workplace that's probably a me thing 
but other than that, I really like it, but I'm afraid that it would lace up the back and it would be a giant no. You gotta show me where I was. Show me where I was. I guess I'll have to find it. If you like this kind of content after I post it, please let me know. Um, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Uh, if you think this is totally boring, let me know that too. <laughs> I like to learn and grow. I want to know how I can help people with their questions or with their fashion journeys for, for work or for every day. Looks like And Out There Stories has some, oh, that is very nice. That button front right there is very nice and it says back tie, loose fit back tie. What do you mean by that, sir? I love that color. That is a very rich, is this? Uh, show me, show me, show me, show me. It looks a little sheer, so you'd have to wear an undershirt underneath it. Okay. I can I can dig the the back tie. That so looks quite nice. Um, my only problem is you won't be able to tuck it in. So the untucked look, which is kind of the undone look, is not for every workplace. So that you'd have to you have to weigh because uh, I think some dress codes say that shirts have to be tucked in if they have a tail on them you know if it's a tailed shirt you have to tuck it in so that would defeat the purpose of the tie back but otherwise it's a very cute shirt and a very cute concept i like it And I love a striped button front. And the the two-tone shirt, the collar and the cuff being a different shade of the body. I think there's a place for that. That's a, that's a very common uh, male design in the male button front shirts, but I can dig the uh, the androgynous, the the very masculine button front if you like to if you like to dress more androgynous, I can dig it. I, can, I like that shirt. I would buy one. Now, everything in me would want to buy this. Not for work, of course. And I know I should just stay to work clothes. I love this. But you'd have to be built like this young lady, this woman. I shouldn't say young lady, this woman, um, to wear this because those sleeves would overwhelm me and my chest would is much bigger than hers, so it would look totally different on, on me. And if you're built like that, then you, you know what I'm talking about, but this is adorable. No tie backs, no ties in the back, showing off your back. That's not what we're going for. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, I like the bow shirt here. Oh no, error. Come on. 
Oh, that stinks. Hopefully, if you guys go on the website, you won't see that. I don't know what's up. What's up with that? Ah, stop showing me that shirt. I do not want to see it. Let's go down to where we were. Here we are. Oh, I love the silk one with the tie front as well. With the, uh, the name of the shirt is something that's not acceptable to, to say. I feel bad by saying it, even though it is the name of that shirt. Um, and it's called the Pussy Bow Blouse. But I feel weird by saying that. So, um, but I love the solid color and the printed one of it. I absolutely love a blouse like that. I have a ton of them in my closet right now. Now, <laughs> this one over here reminds me of the Cezanne shirts. If you know what I'm talking about, the way that collar goes, doesn't that remind you of that? I mean, I would want to buy the Cezanne ones because it's a better, pro uh, better quality than and other stories and that's not a knock to and other stories they got a price point to hint hit and Cezanne's got a different price point to hit so theirs will be 159 which ain't cheap but you know it ain't Cezanne prices either but I love that style I've loved it ever since Cezanne brought theirs out Now, if you have ever worn a collarless shirt and you want it to stay open like she has hers, I can show you hacks on how they do that because that used to drive me crazy for years and then figured out what they actually do. They use double stick tape, the uh, clothing tape, and they just tape it open. That's, you know, and it looks great all throughout your day. Nobody knows it's been taped open. That's what they do. And now you know the hack too. <laughs> oh, let's see if anything else jumps out at me. Oh. Another one, another tie, uh, bow uh, blouse. That one's in a stripe. I have so many striped shirts. I am such a sucker for for knits and striped shirts and button front shirts. Oh, I love the embellished collar on this one. They gonna show us any? There we go. Oh, look at the beading. You'd have to be careful with it. So if you don't like laundry, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it, but, you know. I love that beading. Now, my problem with this blouse that is like a draping blouse, you can't move around or it'll fall off of you. Um, you'd have to hold it there with double-sided tape all day long, and that clothing tape does not stay for that long. It's a temporary fix kind of thing, not a 10-hour kind of thing. So... As cute as these are, I would not buy them for uh, your workwear. Hmm. 
<laughs> and a lace shirt. We stay away from that because that is not appropriate for work. And this floral blouse here let's take a look at that because they just keep on showing us button fronts and as much as we love them can't just keep on looking at the same thing over and over again uh this looks like another one that looks like it will overwhelm a body type it will wear the person the person won't wear it it is beautiful i love it but it will it's one of those things that's um are what they call it lizard brain the one that is like oh shiny and you buy it and then you put it on you're like I'm never wearing this again I think that this shirt is that kind of trap you spend the money and you hope you love it but you end up never wearing it More button fronts, more button fronts. Oh, if this little shirt was not a crop shirt, that'd be so sweet. But it looks like it would be just a belly showing shirt and that's not what we're looking for now I love this denim one oh I wear it with those I love how they style it I would wear it with the black jeans as well or some other denim jeans that are the blue denim because we know that the denim on denim is back but as long as they're not the exact same color they're like a shade or two off of each other looks great I love that oh this error why why are we getting errors there we go okay nothing weird in the back which is always good I think we could slide that through um, your workplace because it's not denim jeans, but like your trousers wouldn't be denim, but your shirt. I don't think they'd say anything about that as long as it was put with some nice work, tra uh, work trousers or a skirt. Again, I say, I want you guys to tell me if this is something you want me to do more of, going on the websites of these different clothing and just giving my thoughts on if it's, uh, if what they have in stock is workwear or really worth buying. I need you guys to let me know. Oh, I like this. This blue shirt with... Let's see. Are you going to just give me one angle? Oh, I'm getting. I love that cow neck. I love the drapingness. Oh, I will only get one angle. Cow neck. Well. One thing I will say is make sure you know return policies on anything that you buy. Because if they're only going to give us one view of it, I can't see the back, I can't see anything about it, I can't see how it sits on a body, that's, I don't like those pictures. The flat layouts, I hate those. This little knit, I think it's knit, is it? Uh, wool. 
I think that would be cute. Oh, that's only one picture as well. Ah, why do you do this to me? Only one picture. I need to see angles. I need to see it on the body. But I like the bell sleeves. It's only in black. Just wish they had other angles on there. That's kind of poopy. Okay, so this shirt with the ruffles in the front, this would be really great for someone who don't who does not have a predominant chest. Um, if you have a pretty substantial chest, um, it tends to make you look bigger than you actually are, and it just does not lay like they would like you to. I know some people say that the ruffles detract from how big your chest is if that's something you're trying to camouflage, but I've never found that in my life. It always makes me look straight there, like, and it's never camouflaged it for me. It's always made it look worse. That's in my um, experience. If you love these shirts, don't let anybody tell you different. Wear them. Doesn't matter. But I have found in my life that these kind of shirts with the ruffles in the front just make it look like I am wearing a tent and that I have put on like 10 more pounds than I actually am. Same with this ruffle shirt right there as well. Same deal with, with me. I just stay away from them like that. Yet I love a tie, a bow, um, bow t a bow tie, a bow tie blouse. Um, I love one of those. I love it. I guess because it's not as rigid and it's more flowy and it has more movement. It's not as stagnant. Probably why I like them so much more than just ruffles on the on the front of a shirt. Well, that plaid shirt looks a little out of season, don't you guys think? Like, um, just trying to get rid of them, huh? Well, let's see. Let's see if I see anything else that. Ooh, that's a ruffle and a tie front. That might be a little too much. And we have hit the bottom, guys. Okay, well, that was my opinion on the uh, And Other Story new in blouses. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you guys thought. Okay, thanks. Bye.